Gentlemen, thank you for being out here today. God bless you guys. Listen, the eyes of America are on Georgia right now, and it couldn't be more serious. We know that the choice in this race is bigger than Kelly Loeffler, it's bigger than me, it's bigger than our opponents. It's about the future direction of our country. It's a simple choice between headed down the road to socialism or to keep our freedom. Freedom! freedom. But we have to listen to what the other side is saying because they're serious. Remember what, what uh, Chuck Schumer just said two weeks ago. Take Georgia, change America, right? No. AOC even said, wait a minute, we have to have those seats in Georgia because we do not want to negotiate. We want the Green New Deal without compromise. That's what's at stake here. Guys, history tells us that the price of socialism is freedom. And that's what this election is really all about. If you look at what they're talking about of perpetrating on America, just go read the Senate Democratic platform. It's out there. It's been out there all year. What they want to do, and Chuck Schumer says it best, what he wants to do is to change the rules of the Senate so he could really be in charge with 50 votes. If he gets these two seats, he will have the effective majority of the United States Senate. And here's what's coming. He's going to pack the court. He's going to add Democratic seats to the Senate. He's going to get rid of the Electoral College. Now then, what will they do with that? They want to defund the police at a time when we should be defending the police. They want to cut our military when we should be building and worshiping and holding in respect every person in uniform in the United States. What he's talking about doing is open our borders. He's talking about illegal immigrants having the right to vote. He's talking about the Green New Deal. He's talking about taking away our private health insurance. Guys, what they're talking about is so far left that we may never get it back again if we lose this race right now. Let me just remind you of something that a great American once said, talking about freedom. Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We don't pass it down in the bloodstream. It's got to be fought for, protected, and passed on. Or one day, in our sunset years, we'll be sitting around telling our children and our children's children, what it was like one day in America when women and men were free. That's never going to happen, guys. We're going to make this happen right now. We're going to win Georgia, and we're going to save America, right? And we got to make darn sure that the road to socialism never runs through the state of Georgia. Now, I get the privilege today. We've got a special guest here. I don't usually ride around on Air Force Two. So you may have guessed that we have somebody pretty special here with us today. This man was a two-term governor of the state of Indiana. He was in the House of Representatives for six different terms. This is a man of God, and he's our 48th Vice President of the United States. Please welcome Vice President Mike Pence. Republican General Ron Daniel, 
the hometown Congress buddy Carter, to our great friend Congressman Doug Collins, Bubba McDonald, State Chair David Schaefer, my fellow Americans, it is great to be back in the Peach State. Thank you all for coming out on this beautiful day. But before I begin, I know we were all just informed that a young man on Senator Kelly Leffler's staff lost his life in a fatal car accident this afternoon. Senator Leffler's on her way back to Atlanta to support that young man's family and her staff in this difficult hour. And she goes with our prayers and our deepest sympathies for his family, her staff, and all of those impacted by today's tragic loss of a truly wonderful young man. God bless them all. Thank you. But it is great to be with so many friends here in Georgia. And speaking of friends of mine, Allow me to bring greetings from another friend of mine. A man who has been fighting every day to keep the promises that he made to the people of Georgia. I bring greetings from the 45th President of the United States of America, President Donald Trump. I'm here because I stand with President Donald Trump. And I'm here because we stand with Senator David Perdue and Senator Kelly Leffler. But I have to tell you, I told the President this morning that I was headed to Georgia. And he told me, I'm going to be there tomorrow. And we're here, to, we're here to stand with two extraordinary leaders. And we're here also to express our gratitude for the support of the people of Georgia over the past four years and over the past four weeks. It's amazing to think about it. With your support, President Trump received more than 74 million votes across America, more than 10 million than 2016. We received the greatest share of minority votes of any Republican in the last 60 years, and we added more than a dozen seats to the United States Congress. And as our election contests continue here in Georgia and in courts across the country, I'll make you a promise. We're going to keep fighting until every legal vote is counted. We're going to keep fighting until every illegal vote is thrown out. And we will never stop fighting to make America great again. That's why President Trump and I need David Perdue and Kelly Leffler back in the Republican majority in the United States Senate. For all we've done, for all we have yet to do, we need the Peach State to defend the majority. Because the road to the Senate Republican majority runs right through the state of Georgia. Are you with me? You know, there's never a dull moment at a Trump rally, is there? USA! 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 USA!
Men and women of the Peach State, I'm here on the President's behalf because we need Georgia to send two great senators back to a Republican majority in Washington. We need to send them back because of who they are. We need to send them back because of all that we accomplished together. And we need to send them back because a Republican Senate majority could be the last line of defense, preserving all that we've done to defend this nation, revive our economy, and preserve the God-given liberties we hold dear. But I'm here because of who they are. David Perdue is a son of Macon, worked his way to the top of the business world, but he answered the call to public service. After spending 40 years as one of the most successful business leaders in America, he decided to serve Georgia. And I can tell you firsthand, he's a principled conservative, a man of deep conviction and faith. And Senator David Perdue has been one of the greatest allies of our administration in Washington, D.C. And another incredible leader, Kelly Leffler, fourth generation on her family's grain farm. She built her own company up from the ground. She broke barriers in business and sports to become one of Georgia's most successful businesswomen. And I can tell you again, in a very short period of time, she's emerged as one of the most important conservative voices on Capitol Hill. We need Senator Kelly Leffler back in Washington, D.C. So we support your senators because of who they are, but also because of everything that we've done with their support. I mean, think about it. Four years ago, we inherited a military that had been hollowed out by devastating budget cuts, an economy that was struggling to break out of the slowest recovery since the Great Depression. Terrorism was on the rise around the world, and we witnessed a steady assault on our most cherished values. But with your two senators and under President Donald Trump, we rebuilt our military. We revived our economy. We secured our border, stood with law enforcement, and fought for life and liberty and the Constitution of the United States of America. And everything starts with our national defense. You know, I'm your vice president, but the highest title I'll ever hold is DAD. And I'm the proud father of a United States Marine and the father-in-law of a Navy pilot. And I couldn't be more proud to serve alongside a president who cares so deeply about the men and women of our armed forces. President Trump has signed the largest investments in our national defense since the days of Ronald Reagan. I mean, the truth is, we're finally giving our soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guard the support they need to defend this nation. And Senator David Perdue, from his seat on the Senate Armed Services Committee, has been there every step of the way. Thank you, Senator. So it's been about standing with those who serve, but also standing with all of you who did serve in the uniform of the United States. You know, the last administration saw years of scandal at the VA that shocked the conscience of the nation. You remember? I mean, we literally had veterans in this country passing away, waiting for care at VA hospitals in this country. But when President Trump came into office, with the help of your two senators, those days are over. President Trump signed the most sweeping reforms of the VA in 50 years. We fired 10,000 VA employees that weren't giving our veterans the care that they earned, and Veterans Choice is now available for every veteran in America. And from her seat on the Veterans Affairs Committee, Senator Kelly Leffler was there every step of the way. 
And with our renewed American strength, in the last four years, we've stood up to our enemies and stood with our allies. At the direction of the Commander-in-Chief, our armed forces took down the last inch of territory under the black flag of ISIS, eliminated their leader, and Qasem Soleimani is gone. We've stood with those who threaten us, but we've stood with our most cherished ally like never before. After four different presidents made the promise and broke it, it was President Donald Trump who kept his promise and moved the American embassy to Jerusalem, the capital of the state of Israel. So it's been about security standing strong in the world. But it's also been about our prosperity. And again, your senators have been there every step of the way. After the slowest recovery in some 75 years, President Trump revived the American economy. We cut taxes. We rolled back regulation. We fought for free and fair trade, unleashed American energy, and in three short years, Businesses large and small created 7 million good-paying jobs, including 350,000 jobs right here in the Peach State. And your senators were there every step of the way, especially in this challenging year through which we've passed. It's amazing to think, in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, it was a moment at which we'd lost 22 million jobs. But because of the strong foundation that both of Georgia's senators supported, we've already seen more than 12 million Americans go back to work. We're opening up America again. I mean, the response to this pandemic, I must tell you, serving alongside this president has been deeply inspiring to me as an American. With the support of your two senators, we launched the greatest national mobilization since World War II. We secured financial support for families and businesses. And while the other side said it would take a miracle to get a vaccine before the end of the year, we just heard at the CDC in Atlanta we're about a week and a half away from starting to distribute tens of millions of doses of a safe and effective vaccine. America is in the miracle business. And David Perdue and Kelly Leffler were there every day of this challenging year. But when it comes to the rule of law, I couldn't be more proud to report to you with the strong support of these senators, we've confirmed more than 220 conservative judges to our federal courts at every level. And they are all men and women who will uphold the God-given liberties enshrined in our Constitution, like the freedom of speech, the freedom of religion, and the Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. And none of that would have been possible without the consistent support and vote of Senator David Perdue and Senator Kelly Leffler. It was Georgia senators who were there when we confirmed Justice Neil Gorsuch, Justice Brett Kavanaugh, and Justice Amy Coney Barrett. In fact, Senator Kelly Leffler was the first member of the United States Senate to call for the immediate confirmation of justice, Amy Coney Barrett. And it couldn't be more important than it is right now. I think you all understand. A strong judiciary is the vanguard of our liberties. Under the last administration, you remember how our values and our freedoms were under assault. I mean, the last administration actually was trampling on the religious liberty of Americans on a regular basis. 
They compromise the conscience rights of doctors and nurses and of religious charities. They even hauled the little sisters of the poor into federal court to force them to compromise their faith to live under the mandates of Obamacare. In fact, we saw that religious intolerance two years ago when Amy Coney Barrett went before the Judiciary Committee the first time. The leading Democrat on the committee actually said she was concerned because of Amy Coney Barrett's sincere Christian faith. She said, and I quote, the dogma lives loudly within you. And Hollywood liberals have been ridiculing Amy Coney Barrett ever since. Well, I got news for the Democrats in Washington and their friends in Hollywood. That dogma lives loudly in me. That dogma lives loudly in you. And the right to live and worship according to the dictates of our faith lives loudly in the Constitution of the United States of America. So for our liberties, for our freedoms, we need Senator David Perdue and Kelly Leffler back in a Republican majority in the United States Senate. I mean, the stakes in this election have never been higher. And the choice has never been clearer. Where David Perdue and Kelly Leffler stand for a strong national defense, John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock are going to cut our national defense to fund their big government programs. Where David Perdue and Kelly Leffler cut taxes, John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock want to raise taxes on working families and businesses, large and small. Where David Perdue and Kelly Leffler support our military, Raphael Warnock has demeaned our military and repeatedly defended the anti-Semitic rhetoric of Reverend Jeremiah Wright. And where John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock support taxpayer funding of abortion, David Perdue and Kelly Leffler stand for the right to life. I mean, you all know what the stakes are here in Georgia. Chuck Schumer said it. Couldn't have said it more clearly. He said, quote, now we take Georgia, then we change America. I got a message for Chuck Schumer and the Washington Democrats. We're going to keep Georgia. We're going to save the Senate and then we're gonna save America. You know, our agenda is American greatness. Their agenda is American decline. John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock's agenda of higher taxes, open borders, socialized medicine, a Green New Deal, defunding the police and packing the courts. It's wrong for Georgia. And John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock are wrong for Georgia and wrong for America. That's why we need Georgia to say no to Ossoff and Warnock and yes to Senator David Perdue and Senator Kelly Leffler on January 5. So, Georgia, I came here today to say stay in the fight. Stay in the fight for integrity in our elections. And stay in the fight to defend the Republican majority in the Senate. Stay in the fight until the polls close on January 5th. And we send David Perdue and Kelly Leffler back to a Republican majority. I mean, to keep America great, everybody, that's what's on the line. To preserve the progress that we've made to protect our values and our liberties. We need you to vote, Georgia. We need you to vote to send Senator David Perdue and Senator Kelly Leffler back to Washington, D.C.
And it all starts now. So I've got a few things to ask you to do before I get back on that airplane. First and foremost, check your registration. Make sure you and everyone you know is registered to vote by end of business this Monday, December 7th. Get it done. Secondly, you can request an absentee ballot today. If you need information, georgiavotinginfo.com has everything you need. You have until December 31st to request a ballot. When you request that absentee ballot, I want you to be confident about your vote. Our National Chair, Ronna McDaniel, our State Chair, David Schaefer, David and Kelly will all tell you, we're on them this time. We're watching. We're going to secure our polls. We're going to secure our drop boxes. So get an absentee ballot and vote and vote today. Don't wait. Fill it out and turn it in. And if you don't want to vote by mail, in-person voting starts Monday, December 14th. And if you need details, I checked on the way here. On the 14th, you can just go about five minutes up the road. 65 Billy B. Hare Drive. Just past the Shell gas station. They'll be open on the 14th, 9 to 4. Monday through Friday. And remember, friends don't let friends vote alone. Bring a family member. Bring a neighbor. And vote to send David Perdue and Kelly Leffler back to Washington, D.C. So between now and when the polls close on January 5, we need you to vote, George. And we need you to tell everybody to get it done. I know we've all got our doubts about the last election. And I actually hear some people saying, just don't vote. No. My fellow Americans, if you don't vote, they win. If you don't vote, there could be nothing to stop Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi from cutting our military, raising taxes, and passing the agenda of the radical left. For all we've done, for all we have yet to do, for our president and our future, for Georgia and America, cast another vote for all that President Trump has accomplished. Vote to send David Perdue and Kelly Leffler back to the United States Senate. And I promise you, we're going to keep on fighting. And know this, we can fight for our president, and we can fight for more Republicans in the Senate at the same time. We have done both. We're going to keep doing both. We're going to make America great again. So vote, Georgia. And after you vote, by absentee or early voting or even on Election Day, do what Ronald McDaniel just challenged you to do. Go tell somebody what the stakes are. And tell them what's on the line here. Tell them about the progress that we've made over the last four years and all that we can continue to do to make this country safe and secure and strong and prosperous and free. I mean, here's the deal, Georgia. It might all come down to you. Are you with me? So go tell your neighbors and friends at worship and at work. See, I ran into Mike out at the airport. <laughs> David Perdue was there and Ronna McDaniel and Doug Collins. and These people are all fired up. But the key is we've got to bring it all together. Georgia's got to bring it. Georgia's got to hold the line on January 5th.
And finally, as you leave here today, I hope you tell people what we talked about. Share this same passion you shared with all of us. Tell them what the stakes are. Tell them the difference that one vote can make here in the state of Georgia. And have faith. You know, we may not know what the future holds, but we know who holds the future. So finally, in these challenging times in the life of our nation, I'd encourage you to avail yourself of that wellspring of strength from which the people of this state and this nation have drawn throughout our history. And when you do so, remember that ancient promise that if his people who are called by his name will humble themselves and pray and turn, that he'll do like he's always done throughout the long and storied history of this state and this nation. He'll hear from heaven and he'll heal this land. This one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So pray for America. It'll make a difference. And I just know, if all of us do all that we need to do between now and January 5th, I know if you vote, Georgia, you vote your values, you vote your convictions, if you vote to send David Perdue and Kelly Leffler back to a Republican majority in the United States Senate, if we stand with President Donald Trump until every legal vote is counted, I just know that with the support of people across this state and with God's help, we'll keep on winning. We'll defend the vote. We'll defend the Senate. And we will keep making America great again. Thank you very much, Georgia. God bless you. God bless America. Now let's go get it done.